aircraft, zero zero one, off deck, off the hour. <laughs> Good day, this is Sedlow and welcome to another of my C-130J tutorials. Today I'm going to talk to you about how you can modify your flight plan whilst still in flight. Say you get a tasking, you gotta go do something else. How do you change your flight plan in the CNIMU? Well, you're gonna use the digital map up here and the CNIMU. But before we start, I want you to have some things bound to your controls. Under the cursor control panel, um, I, you really need to bind this either to your keyboard or to a button on your joystick. Zoom in, zoom out, cursor insert slash update, cursor reset, down, left, right, up, um, offset, or sorry, the uh, search lock, and unlock. Uh, these are important and you will be needing to use these, so have them ready to go. All right, so you're in your mission. The flight plan that your mission maker has put in for you is in white here. Now say we want to do something else over this way. How do we go about doing that? All right, first things first, we're going to go into the uh, CNIMU. We're going to go into route one and uh, next page, start showing your flight plan. Now let's say, uh, I don't know. Okay, let's go to waypoint one, and then from here we're going to go off to the east. This is how we're going to do it. Let's first delete some of the uh, route here. So we're uh, going to go to waypoint one, and everything after that we are going to start deleting. And have a look up at our map here you can see the flight plan is still in and active because it's white but the uh, modification that we want to do is in blue so we're here to here in blue and that's as far as we've gotten you activate that it turns white but we're not going to do that yet we want to insert a few more points onto this flight plan all right so this is where we get our cursor slew we're gonna go left and Pretty sure this is uh, an airfield here. Yes, it is. We're going to put our cursor onto the airfield and we're going to press insert slash update, which is enter. Now, what has that done? That has put the coordinates, the lat and long, into the scratch pad of the CNIMU. And what we're going to do is keep that in the scratch pad. We're going to go up and on the right side under waypoint one, we're going to enter this. And it comes up as LL01, lat long 01. And you can see on our flight plan, the potential modification is in blue. Cool, eh? Let's add uh, another one here. We're going to go, where is, I think this is Kutaisi here, I think. Oh no, it's here. Kutaisi. So let's put that over there. We're going to press enter. And that has come up on our scratch pad as well. We're going to put that there. And again, our uh, potential route modification is in blue. And once we press execute, it's in white and the other one's disappeared. Okay, easy as that. I'm gonna go in a little bit more in depth though. Um, let's say we wanna do a carp at uh, the first LL01 at, um, I forget the name of the airfield there, but we're gonna do that. Okay, so the route's in there, but we're still, this flight plan had us at 600 feet. Let's do this instead at 2,500 feet. How do we do that? Well, we go to the legs page. We can press legs here. And you can see it's 600 feet for each one. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go slash 2,500. 
And slash means we're modifying what's to the right here. We're not going to modify the speed, but we're going to modify the altitude. So we got slash 2500, put it in here. And you can see how it populated the rest of the waypoints. That's a good thing, so you don't have to keep doing it. Let's go execute. And now our flight plan will have, uh, will be up at 2,500 feet instead. Okay, that's all I've got from you here. I hope you have a great day, and uh, we'll talk to you later. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go. Say you want to do a carp at that new waypoint we did. How do we do that? Well, very similar to the way we had it before. I've got three crates loaded at 882 pounds each. Go on the legs page to the right of our new drop zone, MFP, carp one in it, length uh, 700, LE to PI, 100, slow down distance again, 8, turn point distance 10, our run in heading, uh, I think it's east to west, so let's go 090. Next page, grab our chute, scratch pad, back to here, enter chute, enter the weight, 882, how many did I say? Three. Three. Next page, there's no wind in this mission, so we're going to go zero and zero. Surface temperature is 14, we're up at 2,500 feet, so it's two degrees per thousand, so that's four and a half it's gonna be minus five so 14 minus five is nine and our obstruction elevation i don't know let's call it 43 feet doesn't matter because we're going to be up at uh, 2500 right it's got to be more than that so two five zero zero See how our uh, carp is uh, in blue because we haven't executed it yet. Execute. All right, let's uh, get in the airplane and do it. First of all, we're going to uh, go higher. We're going to go up to 2,500 feet. So out cell, I'm going to um, AFCS nose up to climb going to get things ready for the drop. I'm going to put the ox pump on so we can open our doors. And I'm going to accelerate time so this happens a little quicker. 1.0. Here we go to the IP. How are you liking the C-130 so far? Um, I hope you're really enjoying it because I certainly am. Um, I, I'm a, I was always a fan of complex airplanes in Microsoft Flight Sim, um, such as the PMTG uh, Boeing series and the, uh, uh, I can't even remember what the, the other one is for the Airbus, but um, whatever. Phoenix. I really like that. And I like that we have a complex big airplane in DCS right now. All right. We're coming up on our slowdown distance. Two minutes till carp. I'm going to uh, spin the uh, speed down to 140. Our auto, auto throttle will take us there. I don't, again, still, I haven't found out what the uh, speed is for the uh, the ramp. 
like the maximum ramp open speed. I think it's probably around 200 knots, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Ramp open. And I'm standing by the flaps, 180 knots for flaps deployment. And you know what? I'm going to throw down half flaps right now, 50%. Just to start slowing down a bit quicker. That's good. I'm going to now put them back up to about 5 degrees. And we'll get our required uh, pitch. Cargo door is open. Let's uh, put on the jump warning. Well, when we're, we're a minute out. I'm going to say we're a minute out. Minute 12. Good enough. I'm going to take it off autopilot here and uh, hand jam this. Autopilot. 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 Press autopilot disconnect twice to silence the alarm. We're putting this circle into our flight path marker. One minute out, 44 seconds out actually. A little high. 30 seconds. And I gotta remember what SOB simulations taught me is that uh, I'm, I'm calling this stuff out like a fighter pilot, not a cargo guy. So they, uh, we're going to give them a 10 second warning, I think it was. Gosh, now I forget. I think it's 10 seconds. 10 seconds. I don't know, I think it was 5. Gosh, I don't remember now. 3, 2, 1. Pickle them out, green light. Red light. I'm going to put the autopilot back on. I'm going to get the speed up. I'm going to shut the cargo door. And I'm going to go to an external view. You know what? I'm not going to find those parachutes right now. But uh, anyway, we just dropped them on the airfield. All right. That is it. I hope you have a great uh, day and we'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye.